Hey Haunters, over the holidays I had an opportunity to review a program on Discovery Plus that I've been eager to watch. The show you might ask, Ghost Adventures House Calls. I'll share my thoughts about the show with you in just a moment. Okay, Haunters, welcome back. Comment below with your opinion of the show if you've seen any or all the episodes. Okay, let's get into it. The first episode of Ghost Adventures House Calls aired on May 19th, 2022 on the streaming platform Discovery+. Plus. The premise of the show is the Ghost Adventures crew investigates the homes of private residents, everyday people as it's billed, that call for help and claim they are being tormented by malicious spirits. They never really offer much of an explanation about the selection process and how they chose these homes. Perhaps these homeowners reported the most extreme hauntings and held the most potential for capturing paranormal activity. Or the selected homeowners were the most distressed when reaching out for help. Zach does mention to the crew on the second episode that the family had submitted a video explaining their dire situation. It might even be that the Ghost Adventures program has always been solicited for help by private residents and never really committed to investigating them until now. So let's begin with the overall format of the show. Each episode begins with Zach making a Zoom call to the Ghost Adventures crew, Aaron, Billy, and Jay, to inform them of the location and the details of disposed hauntings that they will be investigating. This call is used to quickly provide details to the viewer of the selected location and some expectations of what the investigation may reveal. The call also attempts to bring a little levity to the show through Aaron's playful behavior when answering the Zoom call, but kind of falls flat due to Zach's immediate quelling of the moment. With Zach's controlling behavior and insistence, they get serious. The bit sort of falls flat, and in my opinion, the moment becomes kind of cringe, almost as though Aaron is being scolded by his father. Because of this, this bit should have been sacked. Then a well-edited graphic informs us the Ghost Adventures crew have air traveled to the proper state, and we catch up with the Ghost Adventures crew in the SUV traveling to the troubled home. As they make their way to the location in the SUV, they typically get a call from Zach, providing further details of the haunting or news that said haunting is escalating to build a greater sense of urgency for the viewer. At this point, I must mention that it was decided by either the showrunners or perhaps Zach himself to adopt an element of other popular paranormal programs to label the segments of the show. For example, the arrival when the crew shows up, the lockdown when the crew is investigating, the analysis when they reveal the evidence to the homeowner. This is a small thing, but the graphic used to announce this detail covers the entire screen, so someone thought it to be an important or unique addition to the series. So then the Ghost Adventures crew arrives at the home with all their high-tech equipment and meets with the family and performs their baseline walkthrough before beginning their formal investigation. It becomes apparent as the episode progresses, Zach will not physically be taking part in the investigation. And no real explanation is given why he isn't going to be present. So what is his role, you might ask? Well, at first I thought he was going to be just limited to his normal, amazing job of commentary and narration regarding the location and hyping the haunting a little bit. But I was wrong. That brings us to the things I liked and things I didn't like with the series. More like decisions made with the show that I didn't understand. Let me preface this segment of the video that I've been a fan of Ghost Adventures since I watched the first episode in 2008, so my opinions may be a little biased. I was still actively training in the gym in those days, and my mates and I referred to Zach as that jacked ghost hunter, and we would frequently watch the program after training at the gym early in the day, and very excited that a Chad gym bro was ghost hunting. I've already stated my opinion in my previous Ghost Adventure video that the show was never quite the same after Nick Groff's departure. However, compared to other current streaming paranormal show offerings, it is far and away the best out there, in my opinion. Leave your comments if you think there is a better program streaming out there. So I'm not attempting to be overly critical here, and I realize it's Zach's show, and he's incredibly successful, and he can run it however he sees fit. So with that being said, let's begin with the critical observations. Not sure why Zach decided to direct the crew via Zoom during the investigations. It's as though he was reluctant to relinquish control of the investigations despite him not being there physically. It just seemed at times he lorded over the investigation to the point he became a distraction from the family haunting or the investigation itself. But giving Zach the benefit of the doubt, perhaps he just wanted to be part of helping the families and felt this would be a valuable contribution despite whatever reason 
preventing him from being there physically. However, in my opinion, Aaron, Billy, and Jay should have been more than capable of completing the investigation without supervision, especially after 14 years of practice. And again, how can someone thousands of miles away know best how to proceed with an investigation without even being there, especially in a tiny home? It would have been interesting to watch the crew conduct the investigation free of Zach's influence with Zach's commentary and narration added at editing. This would have provided the viewer with a familiar but somewhat different experience. I did agree with the decision for Zach to provide the face-to-face -face live reveal of the evidence to the homeowner. I'm sure it was comforting for the homeowner speaking with Zach himself regarding the haunting and the team's findings and give his advice on how to deal with the problem. After all these years, why is it that Aaron, Billy, and Jay couldn't perform these investigations alone? Is it that Zach doesn't trust them? Maybe his ego? Did he want to be part of helping the families? Did the showrunners suggest it? Leave your comments below on why you think Zach or the showrunners didn't allow the crew to perform the investigation solo. Zach also continues to imply that he is sensitive and is being affected by some unseen spirit or entity, which I'm sure could happen. I've witnessed it happen to other investigators, sensitive or not, but every investigation? And when Zach suggests that he's being influenced by a malevolent entity over the internet, that's when I become a little skeptical. That would mean I or anyone else would be in spiritual peril if we watched a live stream of a demonic investigation on YouTube. I just can't subscribe to that opinion. And also, I still find it rather annoying. Ghost Adventures crew on most episodes describe being angry, confused, numb, nausea, or having a bad feeling and quickly leap to the conclusion it's demonic or spiritual influence. And this in turn influences what the homeowner is told at the end of the investigation. I was surprised on the reveal segment of the episode that Ghost Adventures was offering homeowners such weak and subjective evidence, supposedly confirming the haunting. For example, leaning utensils collapsing on the dining table, feeling nauseous, radio static, tapping, imagine ancient tree spirits, supposed elementals. It would not be enough evidence for me to confirm or deny a homeowner's suspicion that they are truly being tormented by a malicious entity unless I documented definitive poltergeist activity or witnessed truly unexplainable events such as disconnected shadows, shadow people, lights flickering, disembodied voices heard naturally, not through devices, and certainly not stick figures generated by the notoriously unreliable SLS camera. I know, I know, we can debate the reliability of the SLS camera in a later video. I know lots of people love the SLS camera. But as of this video, in the several years I've been doing paranormal investigation, I've found it to be an extremely unreliable system. Leave me a comment on your thoughts regarding the SLS camera, and if you'd like me to do a video on just the SLS camera technology. This is not to say I wouldn't share all evidence captured with the homeowner, because the homeowner deserves to see it all. And regardless of the strength of the evidence, I would still offer aid to the homeowner in cleansing the home if the family truly felt threatened by a negative presence. And I understand ultimately ghost adventures are entertaining the viewers, so all potential evidence captured is going to be sensationalized. All right, let's finish strong with the good stuff. And in my opinion, there was plenty of it. Ghost Adventures, Zach, and the crew should be commended for helping families with their fears and their struggles to protect themselves and their children from these hauntings. Some may believe the whole program is staged, but I choose to believe it's real. Leave your comments below. Regardless of the strength of the evidence collected or the theatrics to create an entertaining program, the bottom line is Ghost Adventures was there to help families that may have had nowhere else to turn. And I love that they made protecting children, preserving marriages and families a priority in the selection process. I thought that was a great thing. Just seeing the expression of relief in the eyes of the families when the Ghost Adventures crew arrived to help them was heartwarming. You could tell they were truly grateful that someone took them serious and was there to help. Ghost Adventures conducted the investigations respectfully, confidently using high-tech gear, capturing a wide array of evidence with some of that evidence, not all, being interesting and compelling. It was refreshing to watch as the crew had an opportunity to be spotlighted in their confessionals, providing additional narration at critical moments during the investigation. Typically, this task falls to Zach. Chemistry between the crew as they conduct the investigation in tight spaces in the dark is mostly entertaining. The interviews and confessionals with and by the homeowners were a great addition to the episodes. I found myself becoming emotionally invested in the investigation and the eventual outcome, hoping the Ghost Adventures crew rids the home of the negative haunting. On some of the episodes, the Ghost Adventures crew burned what I believe to be Palo Santo wood to smudge the home. 
attempting to rid the home of negative spirits. The Ghost Adventures crew also explained the smudging process to the viewers, which I thought was a great idea. Smudging with Palo Santo is commonly thought to be of indigenous origin, but is also commonly used in Catholic religious ceremonies in Latin America. Of course, the editing, production, and pacing of the show is second to none. The episodes are visually pleasing, and the series was mostly entertaining. In lieu of Zach physically being there, Ghost Adventures decided to add an additional member to the crew to assist with the investigations. The name of this guest investigator is Lauren Murphy. According to Zach, she is a camera operator for the show and not an investigator. However, you would never know this as she fiercely investigates wherever she's asked to go throughout the series. She was incredibly charming and likable on camera. She also had several confessionals throughout the series that seemed to reveal a very relatable, down-to-earth and unassuming personality. It was refreshing to see a new member in the crew, especially a fearless, charming and likable one. She's mentioned in the credits as director of photography. Whatever her official role in the organization, Ghost Adventures should strongly consider her as a regular addition to their investigation. She was undeniably the standout personality in the series. This is not just my opinion. I did a little research on people's opinion on her contribution to the series, and it was overwhelmingly positive. Check it out. So in conclusion, I was a little confused regarding some of the production decisions made for the show, as mentioned before, such as having an opportunity to have the crew investigate solo, free of Zach's influence, thus providing a unique viewer experience and not taking advantage of it, while simultaneously changing some of the formatting and graphics, attempting to make it seem unique from their other programs. Trying to introduce a little playful banter on the Zoom call at the beginning of the episodes, then to have Zach quell the moment before the bit even has a chance to blossom. Zach remotely directing the investigations and occasionally becoming a distraction from the actual investigation. Providing weak and questionable evidence occasionally to the homeowners confirming their suspicions there is an actual haunting. And the SOS stick figure evidence of ancient tree spirits, etc. Not sure I'm buying that either. Don't get angry with me. I'm just saying to each their own. I'm just not sure that I'm buying the whole stick figure on the tree. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Zach seemed respectful of the crew in this series and didn't display much, if any, bullying behavior. He was just kind of being himself. Regardless of these minor critiques, I did enjoy the series, especially Lauren Murphy's contribution. And I watched every episode. As I mentioned before, I'm a longtime fan of the show and would recommend this series to the Haunters or any fan of paranormal programs, whether they are familiar with Ghost Adventures or not. Okay, Haunters, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for hanging around to the end. Please like and comment. And if you're not yet a Haunter and you stayed till the end and enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. And I'd like to wish each and every one of you a blessed and happy new year. And I will see you on the next one.